Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fire of fire and all the red corner, weighed in at 61.6. He's 17, stands 5'8". He fights at a 12-gauge MMA and aspire and hails from Stockport, Brooklyn, Thomas. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 61.2. He's 28, stands 5'7". He fights out of Air Valley Martial Arts and hails from Keithley, Johnny Greenwood. Your referee, Mr. Simon Studnitsky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this amateur bantamweight contest. Brooklyn Thomas fighting out of the red corner, the black 411 shorts trimmed with green. He represents 12 gauge MMA and the Spire Academy, and he takes on Air Valley Martial Arts, Johnny Greenwood. 4 0 for Thomas, 2 and 2 for his opponent. And whenever we've seen Brooklyn Thomas, he's looked phenomenal. Last time out was last month. Yeah, incredible fighter for just 17 years of age. Staying busy, staying active, winning fights, and... What's also impressive is he's got victories via decision, submission, and TKO. Yeah. So, not only is he a young fighter who's managed to pick up four victories, but he's also managed to go the distance, submit his opponent, and knock them out. What a well-rounded guy at such a young age. Absolutely. Last fight was in April, so he's keeping nice and active. In contrast, though, Johnny Greenwood, it's been about eight years since he last uh, competed, so we kind of don't really know what Johnny Greenwood we're going to get tonight. Absolutely, and, you know, I said the same thing when we had a, a young Mo Muhammad Makiev on, on the amateur circuits, you know, what must it take for some of these, you know, 28-year-old men to climb into the cage with, you know, how, how hard on the ego has that got to be when you get yeah. manhandled by essentially a, a boy well this is the other thing i think what happens often is you you get these guys who as you say are in their late 20s early 30s who started training a while ago yeah um but then the the, the sport has caught up so much more now yeah and so these kids who have been yeah. training since they were like exactly. six years old so even though they've got maybe 10 years experience on them in training you can catch up real quick at this level well wow, brooklyn thomas has shown that so far in his first four contests Top position here, sitting in that half guard. Oh, it, Brooklyn Thomas looks nothing like an amateur would have looked like 10 years ago. Oh my goodness nothing me. Nothing like it. And that's the kind of fighter that Johnny Greenwood is used to facing, because that's roughly about the last time he competed. He did fight. Although he has got some very tough opponents on his record, does Johnny Greenwood. He's, he's no slouch, you know, Danny Sturk, Sam Wilkinson. These yeah. are guys who, you know, ranked very highly in in the rankings when they were competing and and Johnny fought them all Brooklyn in still trying to control trying to pull that ankle out put Greenwood's back to the mat no no danger there no is there danger at all? and Brooklyn's well aware of that as well he's not desperately trying to fight the hand off nah. he'll just let it pop off yeah. when, it, when it comes and that head just pops out and again that half guard we could really clamp down on any is going to clamp down on it. We're going to see a little bit of, of old Randy Couture ground and pound here. Well, one of the things that, because everyone likes to speak about, you know, the, the Randy Couture analogy or the t toe tease analogy for ground and pound and half guard. But it's not simply just sitting in half guard. The way Tito used to do it and the way Randy used to do it was they would tuck their own leg underneath yeah, them and, and lock it sit in. on the leg. Absolutely. And that's what made their half guard so effective and so dangerous for ground and pound. And that's what we don't see very often mm. at, at any level. Good round for young Brooklyn Thomas. Yeah, I think you can confidently say that that was Brooklyn's round. He, he had the control. He had the most efficient striking, I would say. Showing why he's currently ranked as uh, the 23rd best uh, flyweight in the UK. Well, uh, we when it comes to some of the lower weight classes, I think this is where we're going to start really making a difference on the global scale. Our bantamweights, our flyweights, our featherweights. Absolutely stacked. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the fact that Brooklyn Thomas isn't in the top 15 really uh, that, speaks to how deep yeah, the division like is. Yeah, that, that's, that's frightening. Although I think with a with a win here tonight, he may well jump a fair few spots in those rankings. Absolutely.
kind of hard to deny a young man at 5-0. and oh. we go But second. it's not over yet. Absolutely not. Johnny Greenwood not just here to make up the number, but trying to march Brooklyn Thomas down. It's Johnny moving forward. Oh, big right hand there landed by Johnny Greenwood. Yeah, but got in close. Lovely outside trip from the body lock. And Brooklyn, Brooklyn says, Thomas. thank you very much, sir. I know where I can do my work today. Mm -hmm. Chipping away a little bit, but Brooklyn in control on top. Keeping a lot of pressure looking to down try and on him. Looking to try and slice open. Using his shoulder that to guard a bit. Just being quiet. unpleasant and heavy and a nastiness beyond his 17 years. An experience beyond his 17 years. Been Let's see how he how he reacts here. Big ground and pound. But then he, he doesn't he doesn't blow his wad all in one go. He picks his shots, he lands them. Mm. And then, then as soon as he felt Johnny trying to, you know, separate oh. and reverse the position. Look at that. He went he straight just... back to control. Beautiful balance in the mount. And Didn't now get... got the hook in, now on to the back. He's going to use that butterfly hook that he's got with his left foot to stop himself from being thrown off to the other side. Got to be careful not to be a little too high up, but he's doing the right thing yeah. at the moment. We've already seen someone go for a Sulawev stretch from this position tonight. Perhaps that's running through. Uh, and again, just his composure on top. He keeps just readjusting, making sure he doesn't ride too high. But now on the back, both hooks in. Is he going to look to try and flatten him out? Well, this is why he's not losing position, as you say. He's going for the position oh. before the submission or before he's trying to finish his partner in the in the second round with, with ground oh, and strike. I, Although this does look tight. Could be underneath. Can't Doesn't look quite, quite see. under the chin. But it that's looks a hell like of a squeeze. And there's the wow. Tip. Five and oh. What a squeeze Brooklyn from Thomas. Brooklyn Thomas. That is frightening to have a squeeze that tight. That wasn't even fully under the chin. Oh, the bantamweight's got another contender. 17 years of age, and to have that kind of a squeeze is really quite scary. What a great, great little adjustment in the second. As soon as he got in close. What a killer. Wow. Didn't didn't give up position at any point to rush it. No, I, I mean, that was a shutout, right? Oh, like yeah. the, He pitched a shutout for the two rounds we were here. Three strikes, you're done. Fantastic work for Brooklyn I mean, Thomas. Look, but, but look at this, though. That's not under the chin. That's a forearm across the front of his jaw. Yeah, he's just... And he just squeezed. Like that, I mean, it looks to like do that to a grown man at 17 years of age, to, to not even have it fully underneath the chin, but just a face crush to the point the where he has to cage, give up, please. that's very Fires impressive. To the as we said before, Johnny Greenwood has fought some really tough guys. He's a tough dude Ooh, himself. And He's not after easy to do that. Ten to. Seconds of the second what a performance your referee, from Mr. Brooklyn Simon Thomas. Stadnitsky calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by rear naked choke, Brooklyn Thomas. Please show your appreciation for Johnny Greenwood.